Welcome to Nelson Kids series. The first thing you must understand is that multiplication is about putting things in groups. When you're multiplying a two digit by a two digit number, what is important is that you separate the the first number and the second number. For example, 83 multiplied by 26 can be broken up into 83 multiplied by 20. Add 83 multiplied by 6. It is important to understand that any number that multiplies by 10 or any number with, from the grouping of 10s will end with 1, 0. So if you multiply by 10, you will have a 0 at the end of that number. If you multiply by 20, you will still have a 0 at the end of that number. Regardless of the number that you multiply by, you will once it's multiplied by 10, you will always have to put that 0 there. So always remember that before you go forward. Begin to multiply with the first um, uh, no, um, number in the multiplier under the tens column, which in this case is the digit 2. So you're saying 2 multiplied by 3, 2 multiplied by 8, and that will give you the product for the first line. The answer goes on the first line. Secondly, you go to your ones column, you're focusing on the multiplier, which in this case is the digit 6. So you say 6 multiplied by 3, obviously it's 18, but 18 is more than 9. So you have to put it on the outside or under the, the place value heading, cross the 8 and put it there. Then you say 6, that's 6, 6 from the multiplier, 6 multiplied by 8 is 48, add the 1 from the 18 from the outside in that case you will get 49 which you will place under your well your hundred and tens column but you are not finished unless you add the two products for example you add eight at zero six at nine six at four and one and the one from outside now you have to always remember in everything you do, you have to remember the concept of regrouping. Meaning, when you are adding your numbers under each place value heading, if you get a, a number that is greater than 9 and it goes on the outside or under the place value heading, you must regroup. Meaning, you must divide the number into its place value equivalent. For example, if you add the tens, you will have, and you got 15, it will be five group of tens and the one will be added to the hundred column. In by extension, if you add the hundred columns and you say six add four is 10, you will realize that you get more than, than the nine, plus you had to add the one from the outside. So 10 add one is 11. You cannot put the entire 11 there. You have to put it on the outside and regroup. The regrouping will give you 11 hundreds, which is one group of thousand and one hundreds. And then when you go on to the thousand column, you have the one under the thousand column there even though it may not be written and then you will realize that you have to add another one from the outside so take your time and listen to it over and over and always understand that whenever you have to apply other skills to solve the problem you do so the concept of regrouping once you are multiplying or adding a number and it is greater than nine you automatically regroup how you regroup will depend on the place value headings if it that it falls under if it falls under the ones then you are regrouping that number if you got 15 into tens and ones if it falls under the hundreds the, under the tens sorry you will have to regroup that number into hundreds and tens if it falls under the hundred by extension, you will have to regroup that number into thousands and hundreds. So pay particular attention to your regrouping. Once you multiply a number and you realize it is more than nine, you have to automatically pull the skill of regrouping and apply it to the situation. So it is no longer focusing on just getting the digit in the column but you must know when to regroup this has been a short lesson 
from Nelson Kids. Join me next time.